an incredible lunge. But anyway, the men's single skulls President's Cup is underway. And in lane two, Nick Barnier from the ACT. Lane three, Reese Grant from Western Australia. In lane four, Sasha Bolonagov from New South Wales. Lane five, Scott Lader, Queensland. In lane six, Max McQueeny from Tasmania. And in lane seven, Shane Jackson from Victoria. And well out in front early in this race at lane six, Max McQueeny going out strongly. And alongside him, Scott Laidler from Queensland. Far side of the course, it is Reese Grant from Western Australia in lane three. Alongside me, Peter Anthony. Uh, thanks, Tim. It's going to be pretty hard, I think, for the opposition to uh, get the better of Sasha Bologanoff from New South Wales. He... Um, he won the Australian Championship just uh, a couple of days ago, so I think he's biding his time there off the start, and uh, he'll press through, I'd imagine, in the middle stages. Yes, it, at the moment it is Max McQuinney from Tasmania from the Buckingham Club, and the Tasmanian under-23 champion just pushing it through nicely there. Sasha Bolonagov in lane four from New South Wales, and alongside him, Reese Grant from Western Australia from the a and Club, and Reese Grant will race in the WA Kings Cup crew a little later on today and uh, he was fourth in the national titles on Thursday. But Sasha Bolonagov won the national title earlier this week and he is the outstanding sculler going into this event. He, he's training now in Canberra at the Australian Institute of Sport and will be rowing in the World Cup tomorrow. And he absolutely dominated in the selection trials. And we can see this nice long form from Sasha Bolonagov in lane four, Reese Grant in lane three, and in lane six it is Max McQueeny as they cross 500 metres, New South Wales, Western Australia and Tasmania. McQueeny currently in third place, but it is still Bolonagov, well out in front, 23 years of age, coached by Mark Prater. He's looking good there, very stable in his boat, not stretching over his toes, and the blade's well secured in the water. He's just inching away uh, from the WA sculler, Reese Grant. So the middle section of the race here, that's where they all settle down, um, see how they're going against each other, you know, how far have I gone, how far to go, it's a bit of a journey yet, but uh, Sasha Bolonagov looking very good at this stage. Yes, and Sasha Bolonagov golf I mentioned a moment ago now training at the Australian Institute of Sport in Canberra he won Henley an under 23 medalist it is great to see these young rowers coming through also he rode in the Sydney University crew which won a race across Sydney Harbour beating Melbourne University and he now leads by three quarters of a canvas the rower on the inside of the course there is Reese Grant from Western Australia and he's a good young rower coming through as well and uh, we see a beautiful picture there through the course and it looks magnificent just rowing down the centre of the course is Bolonagov at the moment in first place and he now leads by a canvas in second place it is Grant with McQueenie still from Tasmania in third in fourth it will be Laidler from Queensland far side of the course Nick Barnier from the ACT coached by his father Brian I was talking to him yesterday and he told me that, that Nick had been doing a lot of labouring in the lead up to this event and he said that it's going to be very hard for him he hasn't spent too much time in the boat but He's a very good rower coming through, 23 years of age. But a bit of a challenge coming on now from Grant from Western Australia. Bolonagov just looking to his right, realising the challenge was here. And Grant and Bolonagov going stroke for stroke. Grant in lane three, Bolonagov in lane four. Yeah, Rhys Grant from WA, he's, uh, he's rowing with a very long stroke and he's absolutely thrown down the Gortland at the 900 metre mark. So he's come through the 1,000 metre mark, just shading uh, Sasha Bolonagov from New South Wales. And, and he's pushing on even further here. So this is very interesting uh, push right now from the WA Sculler. So it's uh, Grant currently in first place, closely followed by Bolonagov. So we have a new leader and also making a little bit of move through the centre of the course there in lane six, McQueeny staying with them from Tasmania. Jack's on his outside and on the far side of the course, it is Barnier in the inside there. In lane five, it is Scott Lader from Queensland. But it is going to be a real battle. That's Bolonagov, Sasha Bolonagov from New South Wales, currently in second place. And Grant, you can see that he's upping his rating and Bolonagov, You'll have to respond to the challenge. We saw a great finish a moment ago whereby Sally Keogh came from one and a half boat lengths back with 250 metres to go to swamp Sarah Perkins on the line to win the women's single skulls. We may need a similar Herculean effort here from Bolonagov if he's going to win this race because Grant is pushing away from him. Bolonagov has had a very heavy program through the week too, Pete, because he's been involved not only 
in the interstate races, the open races, but also he has been involved in a World Cup campaign. Yeah, but you can see the strain on Rhys Grant's face there. He's throwing everything out here, and you wonder if Sasha Bolognikov from New South Wales has seen him. Like, the Australian champion from a couple of days ago has let him go straight by him. You know, the other guys, Max McQueenie from Tasmania, they're on shot, just struggling a bit back further, young Sculler. Um, Scott Laidler from Queensland, back further in the pack, but it's the, the Sculler from WA, Rhys Grant, who's really having a big go here, and he's building a huge margin. And well out in front, it is Rhys Grant from Western Australia, from the a &A Club, 26 years of age, fourth at the national titles on Thursday, and he just looks across as they move through 1,500 metres, 500 metres to go. Western Australia out in front through Grant, and Bolonagov seems to be struggling in the centre of the course in lane four. He's currently in second place. McQueenie in third. Laidler coming through from Queensland in lane five. But if anything, he's pushing away from the rest of the field, Grant. This is a major up it when you consider that Bolonagov was the outstanding rower in single skulls at the selection trials and we have a rower from Western Australia, Rhys Grant, well out in front and as I mentioned a moment ago he will race in the King's Cup tomorrow for Western Australia and he looks just a little bit of a glance there to the left hand side just seeing where Bolonagov is and he has this race in keeping, you'd have to think. He's so far in front now, he leads by three and a half boat lengths. If anything, there is a battle for the minor placings. Bolonagov has a real challenge on his hands. Coming through on the inside of the course in lane five, it is Laidler from Queensland. But this is a great performance by Rhys Grant from Western Australia, just pushing away with this race. Another little glance there, looking at his opposition. And he now leads by three and a half boat lengths from the rest of the field. It is still Bolonagov from second place. Laidler moving to third, McQueenie and Laidler having a real battle just there, but Bolonagov just holding on to second place well out in front, it is still Grant from Western Australia, about 150 metres to go, and Reese Grant from Western Australia pushing away with this, he now leads by four boat lengths, Bolonagov has a battle on his hands for second place, coming through is Laidler from Queensland, he's in the men's eight for the World Cup tomorrow, great hit out for Laidler from Queensland, but it's Reese Grant, far side of the course, from Western Australia, from the a &A Club, Striking the victory in the interstate men's single skulls and he crosses the line in first place and Rhys Grant has won the President's Cup and he puts his hands in the air and Bolonagov will hold on only narrowly for second place, only just. And Sasha Bolonagov from New South Wales, the hot favourite going into this race, has finished in second place but what a performance by Rhys Grant from Western Australia, 26 years of age and he's upset the champion. What a performance. And the time there, 7.07. He went out, didn't he? He oh. really pushed himself to the limit there. At 900 metre mark, he just had a big go for him. That's a long way out in the single skull, which is a slow race. But a time of 7.07 into slight head breeze, Tim, is a very good time. And we see the replay there. And Max McQueenie was out very quickly. Reese Grant also went out fast. And Reese Grant, if anything, has led from start to finish. Although... We saw a great performance in the centre of the, the race there by Sasha Bolonagov, and Bolonagov at one stage was leading, and then Reese Grant came through and has uh, been overtaken by Reese Grant with about 500 metres to go. It was all Grant. Well, early in the race, I thought uh, Sasha Bolonagov from New South Wales was looking good, had the lead. Um, Rhys Grant had a big go at 900 metre mark, uh, extended that through the third 500 and rode away. The strain on his face was clearly evident and you could question, is he, was he going to last? But he certainly did. Look at that great shot. Rhys Grant, 26 years of age, from Western Australia, from the a, a Club, has won the men's single skulls. He's won the President's Cup. What a terrific performance. Sasha Bolonagov, he has had a heavy program, hasn't he, in the lead up to the World Cup tomorrow. And you just wonder whether or not he had the energy. Yeah, given that he's rowing tomorrow in the double skulls as well. Correct, Tim. And I think it's always a big ask. We had the Australian Championship of the single skull earlier in the week with uh, all the scholars from all the clubs competing, all the institutes.